Well, here is that current look at Hurricane Barrel, which is churning just to the south of Cuba in the western Caribbean Sea, and it's making a beeline towards the Yucatan Peninsula. That will landfall will happen likely tomorrow morning, and we're expecting that it to hold on to its status as a Category 2 hurricane as it makes landfall in the northern Yucatan Peninsula. That land interaction will help weaken it along with some drier air and some wind shear as we head into the Gulf of Mexico this weekend, but it stays in the western Gulf and eventually has the brief chance to strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane before making landfall somewhere on that North Mexico or South Texas coastline as we head into the early part of next week, possibly as early as later on this upcoming weekend. But we can see the challenges that Barrel has in its path to maintain strength. We have lands there in the Yucatan Peninsula. Also, these oranges that indicate some dry air. These hurricanes are, you know, spinning areas of moisture. They don't like that dry air. And then also some wind shear that will try to help disrupt the circulation, but we still expect it to hold together as a tropical storm or hurricane over that western Gulf of Mexico. Why is Barrel moving towards the west? Why doesn't it just come up here and spend us a visit? Luckily, it's not. And the reason why is because of this high pressure system overhead. That is steering Barrel towards the west, and that'll keep it in the western Gulf of Mexico. The high does start to subside a little bit, so that's why we get a little bit of that northward motion as we head into the weekend. And Barrel will start to move more towards the North Mexico or South Texas coastline as we head into the day on Sunday, potentially as a Category 1 hurricane. So even though it won't be a Cat 5, it could still pack a little bit of a punch out there, especially this early in the hurricane season. A little bit closer to home, though, we're talking about showers in the area this evening, but very isolated showers. Most of us staying on the dry side, and as we head into our firework activities later on, I expect any leftover showers to start to clear and we get those firework displays on time or only a very short delay if a brief pop-up shower does form. But we can see by 11 p.m., not expecting any rain across the area. We'll be on the drier side and stay dry throughout the night, although it will be warm and humid. By the time we head into tomorrow, around mid-morning, there's a chance at a pop-up shower or storm into the afternoon, that storm coverage becomes a little bit more scattered, but it's hit or miss in nature, not everybody getting in on a storm. And those of us that don't get in on a storm, it's going to be quite hot out there, even for those of us that see some storms later on in the day. But this evening, isolated chance at a pop-up shower as we head into the sunset time frame and afterwards, that's when those showers dissipate and we'll get those fireworks off right on time for you folks. Now, heat advisory is in effect tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. because we have highs in the mid 90s feel like temperatures as high as 112 degrees. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water out there. Staying cool with the chance for scattered storms continuing throughout the next seven days. Highs in the mid to upper 90s.